gents, welcome back to Dutch Modeling with another inbox review today. And as you can see, it's a pretty massive box. It's the new Trumpeter M901 launching system and very hard and ANMPQ, la 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 la, or else the Patriot missile defense system with the launcher and the Square shaped radar dish. Uh, the box art. It's pretty neat, I think. Let's see the sides. Nice cat drawings. This is 135. It's pretty big. It's also pretty new. This side, it's almost as big as the distance between my camera and my bench. Yeah. And this side, some color references. And then this side, it's the same again. Uh, it's the kit number 01022. It's a 2015 kit. It's really just hit the shelves. And I wanted this as a, well, I actually had the uh, old ones, the 148, which I wanted to do as a tribute to my uh, my father who worked with this system. But I decided uh, that I wanted something else, uh, something nicer. And Trumpet came with this. And I was at Telford this year and there was a stand who had it. So. Here it is. See, there's nothing at the bottom of the box, but as you can see, it's a massive box. It's a massive size. Uh, according to this, the maximum length is almost 30 centimeters. The width is just over 17 centimeters, and it's over 900 parts. It's 135, and it's massive. <coughs> so this might be a little bit longer uh, review than normal because there are two sets. So um, and its lighting will be different because it's dark outside already. Normally I do it in the daytime, but I got a backwash on reviews to do. So I'm trying to do it now with the kids in bed. The miss is gone, so I got some more time. So I'm gonna open this kit and let's see how far we got. And as you can see, it's massive. <coughs> so I'm gonna try to put this on. I'm gonna do this differently because it won't fit on my bench. So take it up another chair, and let's first see what's on in the box on bookworks and stuff. So you got this uh, master tools leaflet. Master Tool, Master Tool of course being in my part of Trumpeter with all what they got and there's a nice couple of things so that's just a little scribble, it's not really useful we got the uh, instruction booklet we got what's new uh, with a plane, another plane and the hemp tractor, which is supposed to be with this kit, or can be used with this trick. A new Type 62. A limber carrier. The HMS Rodney. Uh, the Russian Smerch rocket launcher with some tanks here. <coughs> Sorry. A new MRAP. And of course the launching system. And then here is what I like the most about a trumpeter is the color callouts actually being in color. Excuse the lightning you can see here. That's a reflection of the uh, screen of my camcorder. And it's everything in nice coloring. 
with the oh sorry if it's like this the cobalt cobalt being this but then again tire black light green wood green and medium gray oh yeah nato black everybody has those of course and here's the color co the call outs for the larger also in full color <laughs> again tire black light green wood brown and white white being for the missile and otherwise it's just nato tritone at least i'm gonna do the nato tritone because i want to do a dutch version <coughs> uh, let's start with the instructions this time setup before blah 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 this is all the well-known uh, sprue layout sprue map numbered as you can see there's pretty white uh, hopefully uh, it's whiting out see if I can help that a bit oh no not very much different then we need some lighting here of course oh, that is proof that's a spoon web I don't know if you can see enough like if I turn them off I don't know what the camera sees so that should be good enough Oh, I can see shit now. I'm going to turn on one light like this. Mm, I think this is better. Uh, sprue map. Sprues are numbered, so that's a good thing. So I'm gonna quit. Uh, before I continue, now, I'm gonna quit this. Check the video. See if you can see anything at all, and then I'm gonna continue. So I'll be back in a second. Oh, did a little check. It's luckily not as bad as I thought. The little viewer makes it out to be way worse than it actually is. <coughs> so that's a good thing. Uh, so, let's start the instruction manual. Uh, we're starting here with, looks like, pistons for the legs. Hydraulic pistons will be. The legs themselves, this will be the, the standards or the stamps, how they're called. Make two, make four, here are the legs are assembled. assembled. More assembly down here. Can you see where I am? No, you can't. I'm here. And more assembly on the legs. How are they supposed to be looking? Handles. So Anti-slip texture. Yeah. Again, assembly here. A two different set of legs, but looks a bit more assembly of legs. <coughs> I'm a little bit cold, so. Uh, this here is a little bit different. F4. Um, with F3, I'm guessing this will be the. The flatbed where everything is assembled. You have to make some holes. You can see the holes for the Patriot system, the missile system, and for the tracking radar are different. So make sure you up there. Make sure you get that right. Uh, again, the different likes here. Still, it are the stamps or the likes. And it's over to the construction of the flatbeds. Of which the the one is the Patriot missile system holding, the other one is the C-band tracking radar on. Uh, lights and everything go on. And then the stand lags or the stamps are added to the flatbed, like you can see here. Um, guessing this will be simulating the hydraulic fluid canister, which will be the place in between. And here's the other side. <coughs> and when you're done, it should supposed to be looking like this. Uh, let's see. These are the will be the 
the underside of the high part, I'm making to the height of still from the flatbed, some extra detailing here. So the underside detailing, toolbox, supply box, whatever's going on, extra strengthening going on. Here's another option for the missile system. <coughs> and here more work on the underside of the flatbed. Drilling holes for the missile system, which is an option. Uh, again, more work on the underside of the flatbed. And then you're gonna start making the axles with the live spring suspension, the uh, brake disc going on, then the suspension of the wheels, tires go on the wheel, wheels go on the brakes. And that's it. The axles go under the flatbed construction. Again, more toolboxing or supply box, uh, storage boxes go on. <coughs> Still the underside of the flatbed construction. So we're page 11 and we haven't seen the top side yet. Uh, next will be um, looks like a computer unit or the generator unit which will be on the flatbed. Hope that turning knobs and bu buttons and stuff. Here's some cooling fins. So I'm guessing this will be the computer or the uh, transistor or transformer, the power unit. More here. Then we're going to the upside, the top side of the flatbed. Uh, passageways, more passageways. Turntable here, construction of turntables, as you can see. Uh, more walkways with armrests. Oh no, that's the underside, so they're going to turn very hard. <coughs> Computer and Power units go on, and more work here starts the real work on the turntable system for either the missile launcher or the radar the, uh, plate. You can see here again, it's a walkway by the looks of it. Lots of such going on. Construction of last two missile launching tubes. Well, being square, yeah, well, there's still tubes, I think. Two go together. And another two, make four, of course. Tubing go in. Probably simulating the computer wires, thick cables. <coughs> uh, swing arms. On the launching table here, antennae being constructed for the side. Uh, walkway barriers go on, and the launcher is fixed to the turntable on the flatbed. You can see here. Construction of the missile. There is only one. Well, that's two parts, so that's not that hard. And can open and close. Or even more open or close, so you, you can, if you want to use the missile, you can, you don't have to. And here's the missile plate displayed as being launched. Oh. You can see up here. Next up, we'll be starting a little bit different. The basic construction of the flat that we already had. <coughs> now we're gonna. Uh, step back a little bit, back to the underside of the uh, flatbed. Do some little bit, little changes. You know, uh, we done the launcher. This will be for the radar. Again, some construction on the flatbed. A little bit here different down here. A little bit different up here. If you can see, the minor differences in the flatbed construction. And. Here's the construction for the 
uh, radar itself. Turning table here. From extra boxes. This is the box from the antenna. The, the, the computer system. So doors go in, stairs go up. Yeah, like I'm working here mostly. More doors and go in. Again, more go in. It's the other side. More just all being added to the box that it's in there. More editing to the box. <coughs> when the actual radar front plate, I'm guessing it's the easiest way to call it, goes on and it goes on to the computing unit here and then it all will be we will be placed on the flatbed and that's the radar is the easy system and it should be looking like this so the radar system will be compared to the launch system quite easy straightfor straightforward build as far as the instructions go or instructions go well, let's see, starting with this little box here, I still f have the feeling I will wipe the hell out, it probably will be better a bit, As you can see, one nice box, nice and thick, <coughs> and what do we have in here? Let's see, put it all out. So, in here we got the the photo edge, the walkway grills, as you can see, and some yeah, surface things. Take it out. Only one thread, so <coughs> you can see my fingers through that, so you can see how clear it is. How fine, how nicely done. Actually, it says 2014 on the uh, photo grill, so it says 2015. It's a new kit, that's what matters. The second and third photo set. More grills. More of the same. The only thing that worries me, and I'm just going to open it because most of you who view my channel more often know my uh, love for photo edge. And of course, I've been through this before. I just want to see, let you see this one. Uh, I hope the camera. See those? These? Those there? How small they are! And it's a pretty big row. <coughs> Where's my pointy thingy? This. See if the camera. It's this. Actually, two rows. And I got another set of those. So, that's gonna be fun. Uh, for the rest, they're mainly uh, mesh and large things, except for two rows here, two rows there, and two rows there. So, and the same again on this side. So, photo edge nightmares for me. <coughs> I'm guessing my uh, photo edge placer will be helpful. Then we got the wheels, rubber wheels. I'm going to take one out. The threads are very nicely done. As you can see, 
and even, I hope the camera picks this up. The name. There. Oh, so you should be able to see it. The texture on the tires is extremely good. I haven't seen tires like this in a long time. Come on. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> and you got eight of them. So for each trailer. And then there is this box, and of course I've been through this again already. And this broke. So that's not good. It's a clean break, so you can glue it back together, as you can see. But again, it shouldn't be. <laughs> so that, that's a shame. But it's not a deal breaker. So this is the box for the uh, radar dome, for the radar. And just the box, I'll go six here from 10 to, okay, maximum width. Thirteen centimeters, or uh, well, almost six and a half inches long, and that's only the box. So that's a big. You get some nice river detail there. Come on, yeah, 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 yes. There, come on, focus. There it is. So very crisp rivet detail. The other side there, more. So the detailing on this kit is very, very nice. Too bad from the break. So, but, you know, it happens. Here's another one. <coughs> Again, there's some texturing on here. But it also seems like they were in a rush to send something out and then put it back on. So that's odd. It's just stress marks, but I don't believe so. You'll be the judge of that. I hope I can show you what I mean, because I don't think the camera picks it up. No, the camera doesn't pick it up. But... Next to this grid, you got some in again. To those rivets, there's, it's smooth underneath there. Ah, there you can see it. You see? It shines there. And it's strange. But the detailing on its own is pretty good. All the rivets, the hinges, the locks there. It's too close. But you can see the roads. So that's good. <coughs> Back in here. There. Put it in there. So even though it has this extra box, there's still a little break there. <coughs> here we got the uh, launchers. We've got two packs. So I'm gonna open one. Okay, at least. I don't want to destroy them, so I'm going to be careful. And it's on the outside. So the launching units, not like this, obviously. It's very hard, thick plastic, so that's nice. I can't put that one away. Those. Uh, so 
nice riveted to over here being st nice steel there won't be much of a texture of course but the rivets here are nice too bad they well at these lifting rings on it would be nice if you have to loose you could do one next to it or being lifted by a uh, fork truck or whatever so, let's see there it is that's most of the detail you see it's very clean very straight And of course, the, yeah, well, there won't be an inside, so. <coughs> and then we got the decals. Two sheets of them. Using for the radar and for the launcher. Let's open them both. And the big one first. More protection, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna keep them in the light for myself for a second so I can see. Uh, oh, nicely done. They seem to be all in register. Very. almost no carrier film. So you can cut them out very precisely. You don't have to. They seem a bit thick, but it can also be just it. They are all readable, so that's nice. So <coughs> let me see if I can catch the light. So there it is. Uh, even the small ones Let's see if we can catch the light so you can see how they are there you can see that's what, and that's what I meant they look a bit thick it will be a look but I'm not sure but very nicely done you can see that's one Here's the other one. And this will be for the launcher. Lift, 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 empty, dummy, empty, dummy. Yeah, this will be for the launcher itself. <coughs> Light again, as you can see. Very nice tackles, and they're made, I think, just by themselves. So, no Italian there. Could be though. I'm not sure. More normally, it says so. So, this is the little box of goodies, so to say. <coughs> Pack that away. And oh yeah, we got uh, a definite loads of styrene to go through. Uh, I will try to show you most, but as you can see with this amount. And already 22 minutes in. <laughs> I'm gonna sort through a little bit to see how much duplicates we have. So I don't have to show them all to you. So this may be a little bit tedious. So I think by the looks of it, 
these are G's. These are G's. These are G's. These and these are H's. These are G's. This is H. And this H. So, one H and one G. The rest are all duplicates, so I don't have to go through them, luckily. <coughs> and these contain two sprues, and these are mirror sprues, so I have to take out one of each, so that's okay. Let's start with the G sprue. Well, G. Uh, part of the wheels, suspension arms, uh, handlings, toe hooks here. This is part of the wheel. This is one of the cylinders, the hydraulic cylinders, by the looks of it. <coughs> Sorry. Nice rubber detail, spring detail. There's a little bit of flesh here, uh, but nothing much. And part of the swing arm by the looks of it here. Yeah. Doesn't look too bad to be honest. You can see here the opening where it uh, hinges. Just some odds there. Here's the cylinder with the wide detail. There. The one of the wheels. Some rivets. There. This is the one of the uh, stamp plates. It goes on the ground. So that's one. Goes back in. Oh. Other way around. <coughs> and then there is the H sprue. On uh, which we have uh, wheels, lots of rivet down the and ball detail here, here, towing eye. Little things here. Hub caps probably. This is pretty short and simple. You can see. I'll do this differently, like I do it normally. Be better. It's <coughs> a better contrast. It's all clean. Seems riding out on this thing though. There's the whole contrast. See, nice bolting detail and everything. There's some more. Rims, and that's it. So you got a bunch of kit, uh, sprues of this one. <coughs> so that helps a lot. I'm just gonna do parts of the flat bed now because I want to see the total length. And if you can see, <coughs> they're not small. So just take one of the flat belts, it should have another one of this. And there are a lot of duplicates of course. The sprue gates are all still on. We have to cut those off. Yeah, as you can see. Uh, some bolting texture, detail. Not much, no welding detail whatsoever. Some detail, but most will still come on. And this thing is about uh, 
29 centimeters or 11 and a half inches <coughs> so that's pretty big so with a launcher on top it's gonna be big this is not very interesting to be honest I'll show you up close but you will see there's not much to see that's about all the detail there is there's something on this is the underside Someone on me, please. There is. That's almost. That's the detailing. That's almost everything. So, not a lot to be honest. But then again, it's a flatbed. How many? How much detail can you have on a flatbed? I had another one of those, I think. So I can put it straight away and take duplicates. Here is the uh, inlay, so to say, of the flatbed. <coughs> uh, some diamond texture here, anti-slip. And here some diamond texturing, diamond plating. And here some river detailing. Some very, very small. Uh, well detail here with some rivets along this side. Uh, this is some railing. It looks pretty good. No, de this is going to cover up, so there's no detailing on. So this is just a blank plate. No clue what that's for. <coughs> so let's see the diamond plating first. Oh, white out. There it is. That's pretty nice texture. Then there's along those lines. I can show you. It's the top. There's some very, very. Ah, oh, there it is. Some welding detail there with some rivets. Goes all the way to the other side. As you can see there. Then we got. Well, oh, wrong side. Sorry. There's the other plate. Uh, the other texture plate. Doesn't really pick it up very well. Let's see that side maybe. There's some detailing there. And some rivets there. So this is the inlay for the as you can see, it's also my hands aren't small, but um, there's room to spare. I got two of these, of course. I have the other one already there. <coughs> uh, let's see. Got one, two. Oh, another one with wheels. Different one. I'm going through this at a second. So we got two identical ones. So it's the R's. Yeah, the R sprue. This is for the legs or the stamps. <coughs> Take one out because they're duplicates. Uh, the hydraulic cylinder here. A little bit of flesh. The arms themselves, the top part, springs, very nice detailed, very hard to clean up. I guess I'm hoping, I'm guessing this should be able, this will break pretty easily here, so you have to be careful there. This sprue gate is not ideal here, and on this side the same. I'll show you in better detail. The leaf spring suspension. Very nicely detailed. Mm, this will be some pick to clean up this here. Show that in a second too. And that's all small parts. So <coughs> first the least spring suspension. 
as you can see pretty nicely detailed there then this will be a pick to clean up see all those things inside here are sprue gates you have to clean them out and some odds there looks good the legs there the cylinder there and some more stuff and then there again oh sorry no sprue gate at the end there that will be a pick because that's very thin the texturing here on the spring is pretty nice as you can see but cleaning that sprue gate off that will be careful work otherwise you will break shut so <coughs> that's another sprue gone and these are just a small sprue so far and uh, this was a single I believe yeah, this is a double I think it next and these are all <coughs> and then two sprues in one bag the same sprue oh. That happen. Let's see what we got here. Uh, this seems like cooling fins, brought for a generator. Riveting detail here, some riveting detail here, there. Yeah. Pusher rod looks like it. This probably goes in there because this is completely. I'll show it like this. Probably works better. It's pretty hollow. So I'm guessing. Where is he? This pusher out here. Goes in there. And you can manually see how high or how low you will want to have it. <coughs> this looks like a piece of wire, uh, rope. The rope guys will clean up here. And this is just a generic plate so let's see if the cooling fence and zoom in please there he is all of the detailing there there you can see uh, the other side around it's completely there throw through Left the pusher up there. So it's nice. You can actually control pitch and <coughs> of the launcher because I'm guessing this is part of the launcher and not the uh, radar. Edge sprue bag again to the same. These are all radar parts. I recognize these from the uh, from the uh, instructions. All the riveting detail around here is very nice. These are one of the doors. More riveting detail here. Hinges look good. More doors with a lot of rivet detail. Again, the hinges. I am not think this is supposed to be. No, this is supposed to. Isn't it's off already? But it's just a cleanup mistake. And again, loads of rivets here. Some uh, door handles here, like you have an American style fridge. Small pusher rod right here. Some rings. Looks very nice. These details on this stuff is very nice. Uh, zoom in. You can see. Nicely detailed the rivets are. You can count them if you want, but there's no fun in that. Again, as you can see. All very nicely detailed. This looks very good.
Um, launcher parts. The parts of the launching tubes. Again, two in one sprue. Sides. We've got, oh, we've got the same here again. So that goes away. As you can see, the pre made had three sides. This is the other, this is the top side. This. So it will be the same with some riveting here and a little excess port there. Here's the mounting brackets, so to say. Here's some plating with some nice rivets. And these are all completely blank. So, <coughs> quick overview again of the the other the fourth side of the launching tube. I'm guessing it being square obviously it won't be a tube, but I have no clue how to call it then. Launching con missile container, probably. I'll just say with launching tube. There are the brackets that hold them up. And those are completely blank, as you can see. No texturing whatsoever. So, you're just to fill up stuff. No clue what for. We'll see when I build it. <coughs> okay, those were all the small sprues. We're now going over to the bigger sprues. Which will take this one first. This looks like by the size of it, I would say it's for the radar box with the teeth for the turntable. You can you can hear it. Uh, some the, another door. Yeah, more doors with very nice riveting detail here everywhere. Uh, Insert for the turning table here. <coughs> the ladder to go up the stairs with the safety harm part. Some brackets here and some pusher rods here. And the other side has no details. Let's see if I can catch the oh slowly the teeth of the turntable. Yeah, there it is. So you can see how good they look. And uh, more of the riveted doors, access panels of the actual radar computer system. And uh, that's actually, I can see the ladder leads on top, very clean. That's actually it. <coughs> Jordan made it in the bigger parts, so. Uh, what we got here, another very large sprue. Let's see. Turntable part here and here. This being at an angle, this will be for the launcher. Uh, these will probably be part of the system that holds it in place. This is the antenna. Parts of the either the uh, these are still parts of the antenna <coughs> hinges for the uh, raising and lowering part and box of some sort with some connections on top. Not really sure what this is for. I will find out. No worries. More launch brackets, just call them brackets. It's the platform that holds the launch tubes in place. One, two, little space in between. One, two, there. And this is on the other side, it's the same. Uh, the only real detail I can show you is here on the turning table. The other parts are pretty smooth. So in real my fashion I still gonna show you that. Let's see. Yep. <coughs> the teeth and the rivets of the turning table. And then a uh, close up of the rest. This is the inside of the turning table. 
This is the. Uh, there it is. Let's see this. Either some sort of control box or a. This should seem to be lights, green, red. So warning lights. See if the system is okay or not. Probably for the hydraulic pressure of each of the and connection for each of the launcher pods. And there are the. These are the hinges, but it looks like because these are hollow on this side, as you can see. So. <coughs> This is one of the main parts of the launcher system. Next up, a very big sack of screws, but also identical, so I'm going to have to take up one. See, there's nothing loose, so that's a good thing. Uh, this will be generic for the flatbed because we got two, and these are all parts of the towing system. This is the hydraulic system for the wheelbase. The Storage bins for underneath, mud flaps, <coughs> brackets, storage bin. Uh, this will probably be parts of the legs or stamps. Not much, not much too detail on this. The the moldings is very sharp, very crisp. But then again, it's very new, and so there won't be a lot of detail texturing on there. But I can see, show you the crispness of the moldings, of course. <laughs> Sorry. You can see. I hope you can see. It's still a crime with uh, looking at this. See here. Oh. Nice, the moldings are. The two more of those there. See, it's pretty nice. You got two of those, so each for each for a uh, flatbed. Clear parts. Uh, let's think. The trumpeter always protects its clear parts very well. Uh, everybody should do this this way. Clear parts. I'm underneath with my finger. Very clear parts. There's a little bit of distortion, but not much. The wheel, the lightning. Let's see if I got something you can read here. I could clean this up. So, this is without the clear parts. There's almost no distortion, so good clear parts. Nice and clean back to protect them. <coughs> uh, 
uh, not clear parts, but uh, fragile parts, also very nicely wrapped. I'm well, careful opening them, not pushing my hand down too hard. Otherwise, all this protection is no use because I will crush them. <coughs> Sorry for that. Fragile parts. The oh, this is nice. This is the the barrier, the safety net and stuff. These are the. I will say computer cables for in the back of the launchers, pre-molded like those. This, you see, it? oh, you can see. But the barriers are made of uh, rope and the textures, pretty nicely found. Here's a part that's broken, uh, but that's again, it's just a little bit glue, and it's done. Also a little bit bent, so all those protection wasn't enough. This. I hope my camera picks up the uh, picturing on the rope. Maybe I should meet my finger with that. Interesting. I can't see, really see what you guys see, so uh, on my guesstimate you don't see the rope texturing, but believe me there is a really nice texturing to the rope. Uh, there is some texturing there, and then this is the computer wire that goes on the back of the missile system already pre-bent. This is here is a little bit of uh, detailing. So <coughs> this is actually very nice. Oh yeah, here's a part that's snapped, but it's very thin and it's a straight cut, so it's uh, very easy to be fixed again. That's no problem. They did their best to secure everything, so it's not that. It's probably just transporting or what. It's vibration can be enough to be honest. And you can only go so far. You cannot put everything in a plastic in a you know cardboard box or in a metal safe or whatever you want. So, like I said, they they're going through lengths to protect protect their product, so that's a good thing. <coughs> uh, the missile, the only missile that's in the in the kit. River detailing on the missile, it's nice there, here. Uh, very much river detailing here. This is on the power generator and computer units on the missile launcher. The framework and the power and computing units here and there. All sides of knobs and everything, and again, loads of river detailing. I'll show you in a second. I'm just gonna watch myself. There, there's no detail, no detailing on the propulsion system of the rocket. So well, you probably don't want to model it firing out because then you wouldn't see it anyhow. So <coughs> sorry, you can see some of the detailing on the. Plating, and here's the computing and cooling units, power units. See, and here's the 
Zo, dit is die XL missile. It might be that I'm going through this a little bit faster than normal. But you've seen the amount of plastic I have to go through. <coughs> Two more sprues. A part of the turntable. Large rivets. Or bolts here. Here's some small detailing here. Cylinder, kind of an antennae. Towing hooks with some light. So I'm guessing this is the back of the uh, flatbed. And that's it, really. Not much of detailing otherwise. So I'm just going to show you this one. The bolts and rivets. And then you got daddy lights. With the toe, I think they're lights at least. And then it's really, that's really it. And we could hear this some little bit. <laughs> that's a bit. That's it really. So, and then there is one screw left. <laughs> Which is the business end or the vi for the tracking end of the radar dish and just I mean that's big. Uh, the honeycomb very nicely done here there here. I am fortunate enough to have seen these in the flesh up close and personal. So they look very good. It looks very good. Detailing here, here, cooling fins here, and a unit here. Uh, there's the honeycomb. So focus, please. I'm guessing this is too much for the camera to focus on. So much. I really don't sure how much you can see of the honeycomb. Ah, that's probably better. Those smaller parts with again the rivet detailing there. Oh, that I saw. It has trouble focusing the way it looks good. So, <coughs> that's the business end of the antenna. Or antenna. Radar dish. Okay, so I'm not what I normally do, pack everything back and put the giant uh, everything back in the box and put it back in there. What I am doing this time is just put this here <laughs> so I have something to close it down. So again, the M901 launching system with the radar set, Patriot, anti-missile, anti-airplane. Defense system, it's a defense system, it's a pretty, pretty poor, important thing. Uh, Trumpeter 135 scale, so it's big. Uh, the 2001 kit, kit number is 01022. It, it looks a very nice kit, especially because I got the old Airi <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> or AR2, or I have no clue what it's called. 148 kit. Uh, this is miles ahead, but as it should be, of course, because this is a new kit. Uh, it looks very nice, very buildable, not too much, uh, very fiddly stuff. Still a lot of work. Uh, a pretty hard paint job. With the hard edge camo comes with, and but I think I'm really gonna like doing this one. And uh, there are some minor flaws, mainly those two broken parts. 
but those are easy fixable so there won't be a problem so all in all uh, the kit goes for close to 90 euros or 65 to 70 pounds I think <coughs> I got it the last minute at Telford and it's for, for what you get it's pretty it's really worth the kit it's a, being a big build you need a lot of space on your uh, display stand if you're going to display it if you got you can do it greatly with a little no, well it's not going to be a little dial but a vignette of sorts so all in all I'm pretty happy with this kit it really looks good uh, what I, for what I want to do with it it really works well and I think I'm really gonna enjoy this kit this build I will I know I will so uh, make of it what you want now after you've seen this curve review I hope you enjoyed it let me know and if not just go away uh, the one of you, you know who you are, just thumb it down like you always do, I really don't care. And I hope to see you soon, bye bye.